Now, I want to show you in this next clip an interview that Oprah Winfrey did with Donald Trump. And I want you to listen carefully. Just listen to how Trump is talking. He's talking like a politician. And a lot of you don't realize he was always that way. And these presidents, all these presidents in the past, they've been handpicked by the elites. And after this clip, I'm going to show you how and why these presidents are selected. You took out a full page ad in uh, major U.S. newspapers uh, last year criticizing U.S. foreign policy. What would you do differently, Donald? I'd make our allies, forgetting about the enemies, the enemies you can't talk to so easily, I'd make our allies pay their fair share. We're a debtor nation. Something's going to happen over the next number of years with this country because you can't keep going on losing $200 billion, and yet we, we let Japan come in and dump everything right into our markets and everything. It's not free trade. If you ever go to Japan right now and try to sell something, forget about it, Oprah. Just forget about it. It's almost impossible. They don't have laws against it. They just make it impossible. They come over here. They sell their cars, their VCRs. They knock the hell out of our companies. And, hey, I have tremendous respect for the Japanese people. I mean, you can respect somebody that's beating the hell out of you, but they are beating the hell out of this country. Kuwait, they live like kings. The poorest person in Kuwait, they live like kings. And yet they're not paying. We make it possible for them to sell their oil. Why aren't they paying us 25% of what they're making? It's a joke. This, this sounds like political presidential talk to me. And I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? Probably not. But I, I do get tired of seeing the country ripped Why off. Why would you not? I just don't think I really have the inclination to do it. I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, I, it doesn't pay as well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country, how we're, how we're really making other people live like kings, and we're not. What do, what do you think of this year's presidential race, the way it's shaping up? Well, it's going to be very interesting. I, I, think, uh, I think that probably George Bush has an advantage in terms of the election. I think that probably people would say that he's got like that little edge in terms of the incumbency, et cetera, et cetera. But I think Jesse Jackson's done himself very proud. I think Michael Dukakis has done one hell of a job. And George Bush has done a hell of a job. You know, he, they all went in there sort of as semi-underdogs, including George Bush, and they've all come out. Uh, I think people that are around all three of those candidates can be very proud of the jobs they've done. You've said, though, that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in to lose. I've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life. And, and if I did decide to do it, I think I'd be inclined. I, w I would say that I would have a hell of a chance of winning because I think people, I don't know how your audience feels, but I think people are tired of seeing the United States ripped off. And I can't promise you everything, but I can tell you one thing. This country would make one hell of a lot of money from those people that for 25 years have taken advantage. It wouldn't be the way it's been. Believe me. Now, this interview was done back in 1988. But did y'all hear the way that Trump was bragging about how he would win, that if he were to run for president? See, a lot of people have been watching this guy, but nobody really paid attention. Not too many people knew that he would ever become president. But I'm going to tell you who's been paying attention to him. It's these elites, because all these, are president, all these presidents that's been picked, they've been handpicked by these elites. And I'm going to tell you something. They've been eyeballing Trump for a very long time. And they knew. And I'm telling you something. Our brothers and sisters, these people, they plan this kind of stuff. They sit down in these think tanks and they plan out years prior who's going to be president. Now, you may say, wait a minute now, brother. Didn't we just read in Daniel chapter two where it says the most high sets up kings and takes them down? That's right. But remember two things, brothers and sisters. The world is given into the hands of the wicked, like it says in Job 9, 24. And the same people who are pulling the strings that the most high are allowing to do so are the same people that the Most High controls. The Most High is the ultimate puppet master. He is the one who is really controlling these heathens.